Raina, and welcome to a 30 minute flow. This is going to be a full body flow, and you'll need for this class a blanket. And if you have blocks or like to practice with blocks like I do, I recommend having a couple of those just near the top of your mat for your hands. Beautiful. So we'll get started in a supportive position. I'll start in child's pose, but if child's pose isn't comfortable for you, you can come to a soft puppy pose, which I'll show you in just a moment. Um, or you can come to a comfortable seat with a little fold if that feels good. So you can sit on your bottom with the legs crossed or out wide, find a little fold. I just want you to find something that feels grounding. That feels like you're making some good contact with the earth. And so whatever that looks like for you, whatever shape that is, um, I encourage you to find it. So if you're coming into a soft puppy, the hips stay high, arms stack, rest the forehead down. So this is a little soft puppy pose. You can find kind of a middle ground here. And if you'd like to find the almost, I think, most supportive version of it, you can take your blanket and just put it onto your calves, sit back on that, and then stack the forearms and rest. So just some ideas there. Basically, if you have some space in between yourself and the ground or your body and your body, fill the space. Beautiful. So coming into that supportive shape. For this child's pose, my arms are bent, so I have a nice little bend in the elbows. Finding softness here. And as you breathe here, wherever you are, becoming aware of your points of contact. Your points of contact with the ground. Your points of contact with yourself. And taking time to notice and appreciate how these connections support you how they hold you up, how they keep you grounded in this space. Empowering yourself to make this practice yours, to use what I offer as a framework for you to explore your body connect with your breath, to connect with yourself. Good, one more big round of breath. And slowly coming up, we'll make our way to a tabletop with the forearms down. So if you're coming from a child's pose or a puppy pose, sliding forward, forearms on the earth, booty is still high, knees about hips distance apart. And from here, we'll start to find some cat-cow. So inhale, lift the tailbone, chest, and gaze. Exhale around the spine, tuck the chin towards the chest. Good, inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cat. Good, inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Good. A few more. Moving through at your pace. Seeing what feels good. Good. And after your next round, coming back to neutral. Tucking your toes. Sending your shoulders forward slightly so you have a nice straight line from your shoulder to your elbow. Good. Start to press the forearms into the earth. Lift the knees. Send the hips up and back. And keep a little bend in the knees for this dolphin pose. Continuing to press the earth away. Lift the shoulders for three. Hug the belly in for two. Good. Roll forward. Lower the knees. Sit the hips back, brief child's pose or puppy pose. Find some length in the back this time by reaching the arms long if you're in child's pose. Good, walk the hands towards the body. Sit yourself up onto your shins. 
and take a moment, lift the hips, tuck the toes, grab your blanket. So hips are still high. Taking your blanket here, rolling it into a little burrito shape, little tube, and then lay that tube across your calves. And now sit back. Good, for a bit softer of a toes pose. Hands can rest on the thighs and you can readjust that blanket as needed. And if toes pose isn't working, feel free to untuck the toes or sit the hips up. On an inhale, sweep the arms overhead. Exhale, cactus the arms wide, lift the chest. Good, inhale, reach. Exhale, cactus. Good, one more, inhale, reach up. Exhale, cactus. Draw a circle around the body, reach the arms behind the back, bring the hands to the lower back or interlace the fingers. On an inhale, slide the hands towards the feet or press the hips forward. Just opening the chest slightly, softly here for three, for two, and release the grip. Sit the hips up, slide the blanket out. Bring the hands to the earth and untuck the toes. Gently tap them out. Good. Press the hands firmly into the earth. Get a little grip, a little extra energy on the thumb. Tuck the toes, send the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Find length, pedal the feet out. Taking a few rounds of breath here. Good, roll forward. Lower the knees once again. And if you'd like to put your blanket under your knees, please feel free to do so. Good. Walk your left hand in just slightly. Step your left foot just outside your left hand. Good, and then bring your hands to your blocks if you're using them or walk the hands out in front of you, letting the hips move forward. Good, looking out ahead of you, lifting the chest slightly. Finding this nice long wide lunge, breathing here for three, for two. Good, start to pulse back and forth, keeping the hands roughly where they are. They might slide a bit, keeping the chest high, but we'll start to straighten the front leg and then bend it. So just moving back and forth, fast or slow, just really finding some space here. Good. Next time the left knee is bent, stay right there. Slide the left hand or your left block in so it's right in line with the inside of your left foot. Press the hand down firmly. Start to press your left arm into your left leg. Open the right arm up. Find this big open twist. <sighs> Breathing here for three. For two, good, tuck the back toes. Stay right here in this shape with the arms. So start to lift the knee. Good, finding this open crescent lunge, pressing the hand into the block for three, for two. Good, lower the right knee down. Right hand comes back to the earth. Slide the left foot back under the body. Scoot the block out of the way. Bring the hands to the earth and then press your hips up and back. Downward facing dog. Good, roll forward. Lower the knees. Wiggle the right hand in just a little. And then again, step your foot just outside your right hand. Let the hips move forward, bring your hands to the blocks or walk them out in front of you. Look out ahead, settling into this nice, long, slightly wide lunge. Good. 
Okay, keeping the hands just about where they are, continuing to look out ahead, start to pulse back and forth, straightening and bending the right knee. Beautiful. Next time the right leg is bent, stay there. Slide that right hand in so it's in line with the inside of your left or your right foot. Press right arm into right leg and right leg into right arm. Open the left arm high from this big open twist. Good. Keep the arms just how they are. You may need to press onto the right fingertips. Tuck the back toes. Lift the back knee. Challenge the balance, challenge the ego for three, for two. Good, left hand to the earth, lower the left knee. And then slide your right foot back, right knee under the body. Press the hands into the earth, tuck the toes, lift the knees, send the hips up and back, downward facing dog. You may want to walk the feet a little wider. If you have a bigger belly or a bigger chest, start to walk the hands in towards the feet, letting the knees bend, finding this forward fold at the back of your mat. On the inhale, halfway lift, look out ahead. Exhale, fold. Slowly start to roll up to standing, letting the arms hang by the sides. Head and shoulders the last to rise. Taking a few rounds of breath to arrive to this new level. Good, on an inhale, reach the arms overhead. As you exhale, slide the hands down to heart center. Good. Bring the right hand over the center of the chest. Allow the knees to bend, ground through the feet. And as you inhale, use the right hand. Start to peel the right shoulder back behind you. Keep the hips nice and square. Left arm reaches out. And then as you find the twist, right arm reaches out. Hips are pressing forward for three, for two, Drop the right hand down the back of the body. Reach the left arm overhead for three, for two. Good, inhale, arms back out to a T. Exhale, twist back to center, arms extended out to a T. Inhale to gather the hands into heart center. Exhale. Left hand rests over the center of the chest. Right hand kind of hangs out there. Start to peel the left shoulder back, pressing the hips forward. Good, then extend the right arm. Extend the left arm. <sighs> Continuing to really press the left hip forward, keeping the hips nice and grounded. For three. For two. Good, left hand drops down the back of the body, right arm reaches overhead. For three. For two. Good, inhale the arms out to a T. Exhale, twist back to center, arms stay extended. Inhale, gather the hands into heart center. Exhale, settle in. Inhale, arms overhead. Keep the arms lifted, exhale, start to sit the hips back, finding this active chair pose or an active squat. Lifting the lower belly up, the belly button in. Lift the sides of the body without crunching the shoulders up towards the ears. So crunching the shoulders is not lifting the sides of the body. It's crunching the shoulders. So can you lift the sides of the body? Lift the rib cage, lift the armpits. Roll the pinkies in. 
Maybe sit a little lower. For three. For two. Okay, press the palms together, start to hinge at the hips, fold forward. Good. Bend the knees enough to plant the hands and walk yourself back into your downward facing dog. Roll forward, lower the knees. Step the right foot up to where the right hand is. So you're replacing your right hand with your right foot. And then you'll just walk the right hand in a little bit. You may want to keep a block nearby, so I'm just pulling mine closer to my body, right in the middle of my mat. And on an inhale, rise up, finding this square lunge. So we are not in a long, low lunge here with the hips forward. We're in a square lunge. If you find that your knee's uncomfortable, you can pat it or change the tuck of your toe. See what helps. This is can be a tough position for the knee. And so I would encourage, if it feels uncomfortable, to pat it. Never feel bad about comforting yourself or cushioning your body. Good. Slide the right hand down to the center of the chest. Keep the left arm lifted nice and high. And then just like we did when we were standing, start to peel the right shoulder back. Left arm reaches forward, reach through the fingertips. Keep the hips nice and square, and then slide the right arm back. <sighs> Twisting here for three, for two. Good, start to drop the right hand down the back of the body. You can rest it on the butt, maybe on the opposite leg. Reach the left arm overhead for three, for two. Good, inhale both arms back out to a T. Exhale, airplane around, arms stay extended. Good. Bring the hands to the hips. Start to lift the chest up. Rock your tailbone back and forth. And so you'll notice as you start to rock it forward, you'll feel your left quad and hip flexor start to speak to you. And so next time you rock it forward and you find that space where the front of your left leg is like, okay, we're having a stretch here. Stay right there. Keep the right hand on your hip, reach the left arm overhead. Keep pressing that pelvis forward. Start to lean the chest back and towards the ceiling. Good, breathing here for three. For two. Good, left hand to the earth or to a block. Right arm opens up nice and high. For three. For two. Good, right hand comes to the earth. Slide the right leg back under the body. Hands come to the ground, tuck the toes, lift the knees. Downward facing dog. Again, you may want to step the feet apart slightly as you walk the hands back towards the body, finding this forward fold. On an inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, start to roll up to standing, reaching the arms overhead. Exhale, as you sit the hips back, find chair or this active squat since the feet are slightly wider. Lifting the core, lifting the sides of the body, holding here for three, for two. Press the palms together, inhale. Exhale, fold forward, hinging at the hips. Bend the knees enough to plant the hands and walk yourself forward, downward facing dog. Roll forward, lower the knees. This time we step our left foot where our left hand is from our table. Walk the left hand in slightly and then rise up into our square lunge here. So again, 
Encourage yourself to cushion that right knee. Taking a moment to situate, to settle, to find your balance here. And we're really looking for like some right angles. So right angles in the knees. Again, now start to rock your tailbone. <laughs> Just as a sample fact, because we're not quite there yet. So coming back to neutral, bring the left hand to the chest. Start to peel the left shoulder back, keeping the hips nice and square, reaching forward. Right arm extends out in front of you. And the left arm reaches back. Keep everything from the hips or kind of the belly button down as forward and to the center as possible. Really twist from the upper back. Breathing here for three, for two. Good, left hand drops, find some place to rest it. Right arm reaches overhead. Breathing here for three, for two. Good, inhale the arms out to center. Exhale, untwist, keep the arms extended to a T. Taking a breath here. Good, hands come to the hips. And now again, rock the tailbone and the pelvis forward and back. I'm just seeing what both sides of that rock kind of feels like. And then the next time you rock the tailbone forward and you feel the front of your right leg start to kind of talk to you, keep it there. Reach the right arm high, good. Hips stay square, start to reach the chest towards the sky, right arm reaches back. Good, breathing here for three, for two. Good, on an exhale, come up. Reach the right hand towards the earth. Left arm opens up high, find this twist, and your hips will naturally move a little forward here. Totally fine. If you like to try to keep them more square, a block may be helpful. Under the hand, for three, for two. Good. Left hand comes to the earth. Scoot the block out of the way. Slide the left foot under the body. Tuck the toes. Press the hips up and back. Downward facing dog. Good, lower the knees. And then just sit your hips to any side so you can swing the feet around. Beautiful. Legs extended out in front of you. Take a moment, pull the flesh out from under the body so your bones can really root towards the earth. Extend the left leg out. Right foot comes to the inside of the left thigh. If you find that your left knee is really high off the ground, take your blanket. Shove it under there, give yourself a little cushion. Same thing for your right knee. For me, my right knee is really high off the ground because my hips are not as mobile as my knees. And so I'm gonna take my blanket and just fill the space between my right knee and the earth. You can do the same thing with blocks. It's just not quite as squishy. Beautiful. Left hand comes to right knee. Right arm reaches overhead, side bend. Left toes are flexed and pulling towards the body. Gaze can come up or it can stay neutral for three, for two. Good. Slowly coming up. Grab a block if you have one, maybe two. Chest stays forward. Interlace the hands behind the head just for a moment. Lift the chest nice and high. Good. And then from here, start to drop your left elbow towards the block. And if you're like, I'm not making contact quite yet, you can bring your left hand to the side of your head or you can stack another block up. Resting your left hand, your, le your head in your left hand, reach the right arm high. So I have two blocks here. If you don't have blocks, you can walk the left hand out towards your toes and find space like this. 
Wherever you are, we'll take about five more rounds of breath. I'm a fan of my elbow on the blocks. Using the breath to keep you anchored to your practice, to your mat. And slowly coming up. Scoot your props just off to the side. And we'll just switch sides. So extend the right leg out. Left leg or left foot comes in. And we'll start here with the right hand to the left knee, supporting yourself however you'd like. Again, I'm gonna use a little blanket under my bent knee. Right hand to left knee, left arm reaches overhead. Real gentle side bend here. Right foot is still active. Slowly coming up, releasing the knee, and then setting yourself up for that slightly kind of crunchy but supported side bend. So I always like to start with my hands behind my head, chest kind of forward, and then start to drop the right elbow towards the blocks, slide the right hand to the side of the head, reach the left arm high. And this is a position I could sit in for like, 15 minutes. I just think it's really comfortable. And we'll take about eight rounds of breath here just because we spent a little time on the other side setting up. And so hopefully on this side, you have a good grasp of where you'd like to be. And if that left arm gets tired, you can rest it. No guilt, no shame. Good, slowly coming up. Scoot your blocks off to the side. Blanket off to the side. Extend both feet out nice and wide. And again, take a moment to pull the flesh out from under you. Hands come in front of the body. And if you'd like, you can have a block in front of your body. And then start to find a little fold here. Doesn't have to be big. Always giving yourself space to 